What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you're subscribed so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Today for tech news, not so much guys. There's really, really nothing out there. So I went diving deep in the world of tech and found a question on Reddit. And I was like, you know what? Haven't really covered this that much. And I thought it would be kind of interesting to get covered and just talk about a little bit because maybe you were curious or maybe you know, maybe you don't know. It's just re-educating. And then we get a couple of questions towards the end of the video. So without further ado, let's jump into the tech news. Actually, before we jump into the tech news, I gotta remind you guys because we're literally coming up in the last few days. Our contest is going on, link down below. Uh, it's right in the, uh, the description of the video, so check that out. Let's jump into the video. And our only story of today is really what is this all about? And that is this, check out this. I found this on Reddit. The question at hand is the following. So the question came up, someone was asking, how does my S22 detect my Buds Pro when I open the box, even though Bluetooth is off? That's a great question, because it almost seems like magic. You're like, my, my Buds connect through Bluetooth, but it's off. How does it even know that I'm using it? How? Like, what's going on there? And uh, there's a little bit of cool technology built into it. And it's actually something you can turn off if you want. So the way to get to it is you swipe down from the top, you hit the gear in the top right, and then you go into connections. And then from there, you go into more connection settings. And then from there, you're gonna see a little toggle that says nearby device scanning. If you click on that, it kind of tells you what it's all about. It says your phone will scan for devices nearby and let you connect to them in a pop-up or in the notification panel. Your phone will scan for devices even when Bluetooth is turned off. So basically what it's doing from what I know what it all means is that even though you have Bluetooth off, there still comes some, some kind of low power radio that's on, have it be from the Wi-Fi side or even the Bluetooth side, very low power, doesn't really consume much battery, and it ultimately can see devices that are trying to connect to it that are also uh, nearby device scanning compatible, such as Galaxy Buds, and when those two sides see each other, it'll automatically have a pop-up on your screen where it's like, hey, do you wanna connect to these Buds? And it will do that even if Bluetooth is off and you have them paired before, or even if you didn't have them paired before, it'll also show up on the screen as a brand new device. And they have to be fairly close to each other within, I think it's inches or feet, I don't even know the exact, it's really, really close. Um, and, and it works, and it's amazing technology, it's really, really cool. And it's kind of a good reminder of, for people, such as like people that aren't tech savvy, you know, when they're like, damn, I, they might just have regular old buds, and when they have those buds in their ears, they're like, you know what, my buds aren't connecting, why? And they might forget, forgot that they turned Bluetooth off for whatever reason. Whereas with this technology, it will always, as long as they're nearby, it will always ask you to connect, um, especially when Bluetooth is off. When, they're, when Bluetooth is on, it'll just automatically connect. But when it's off, it'll literally show something at the bottom of your screen saying, do you wanna to connect to these buds? That's why it's so cool. And that's what that technology is all about. Hopefully you're curious, what that was, or maybe you didn't know, whatever. So there you guys go, that is your news for today. Your question of the day is, what is the next less than $100 device that you're buying? Let me know in the comments down below if it's like some kind of remote control, if it's a Bluetooth speaker, if it's a case or whatever it is, let me know in the comments down below. I can't, I'll be honest, I can't think of anything too pressing that I'm looking to purchase that's under 100 bucks in terms of tech. I mean, I, I get free tech a lot of the time to review and stuff, so that's probably why I don't, I'm not really buying anything, but off the top of my head, I can't really think of anything specific. Maybe Xbox Game Pass, because my subscription for that will be running out soon, so I guess I'll go with that. Let me know about you guys in the comments down below. With that said, let's get to the Q&A portion of the video and drop that. First question of the day comes from New York's finest question. The fingerprint sensor on the S22 Ultra is super fast. The best and fastest fingerprint scanner ever. But how is your fingerprint scanner? Is it fast? Yes, I agree, it is fast and it's pretty accurate. Um, it does seem a little bit better than the, than the previous versions. 
Um, is it the best I've ever used? I'd say still no. I, I, I really, really, I used to love the one on the back, I've said, uh, when it was back there, and I still like that one. It's probably my second favorite, but ultimately, I really like it on the side here of the phones. I think, and that's nothing new, uh, I, but I really enjoy it right there. Uh, as for the finger, the ones on the screen, that is the best one I've personally used at this point, from what I can remember. But is it better than the other ones? I don't know. For me, I'm going to say no. I still like the other ones better. And our last question comes from Shajil Sazad. When do you think Android 12L as a whole on every supported device will be out to the entire community? Now, I don't believe it's going to be on every single device. I think it's going to only be on the quote unquote large screen phones. But when is it going to be out? I, I would guess probably like fully out out of beta. I, I, unless, I, unless I'm forgetting something, I believe it's this summer. Um, or this sp late spring, something like that. So you can probably look forward to that uh, coming then. So hopefully that will come true and we'll see it on more devices. So there you guys go. That is your news for today. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you tomorrow with two more new videos and we'll see you down the road. Peace.